Hello and welcome to Tony's British English or TBE. Now today we're going to look at grammar. Now the most important part of grammar we're going to look at today is the past perfect. Past perfect. Now we use the past perfect in English when there are two actions in the past. One action is before the other. One action is before the other. For example, I had eaten before I went to the restaurant. I had Contraction. I'd, I'd eaten. Now, eat, eat, ate, eaten. Eat, ate, eaten. Now, eaten is called the past participle. Boring. Past participle. So, every English verb has three parts the present, the past, and the past participle. When we use the past perfect, we have to remember to use the past participle. So we have I'd, I had, I'd, I'd eaten. I'd eaten before I went to the restaurant. So here's the question. Where is my meal. I had eaten before I went to the restaurant. Where is the food? Exactly. The food is here in my stomach. Why? Because I had eaten. First action. Second action. I had eaten before I went past simple. So we have past perfect plus past simple. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now I'll show you how we can use the past perfect. Are you ready? Okay. Now here's the question. Who does the cooking in your house? Who does the cooking in your house? Is it your mum? Is it you? Is it your wife? Is it your girlfriend? That's a bit sexist. Sexist against women. Why can't men do the cooking? So, I'm going to be the cook today. I'm going to cook my wife a meal because my wife works very hard and she wants a nice hot meal when she gets home. Yes? Okay, now here is your task. I want you to work out which one of these three husbands is the best husband. Is the best husband. Okay, that's your task. Three husbands, you have to decide which husband is the best. Now, let's start. Are you ready? First husband. He heard his wife come home. He heard his wife come home. So, what does he do? He starts cooking. Hi, darling. Hi, darling. How are you today? How was your work? How was your day today? Not bad. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. He starts to cook. So we have, when his wife came home, comma, he started to cook. When his wife came home, comma, he started to cook. Husband number two. His wife comes home and he's cooking. 
So, she came home and her husband was cooking. Hi, darling. Hi. Mm, thank you so much. I'm cooking you a meal. Okay, now we have the third husband. His wife comes home. She came home and her husband, ready? Her husband had cooked. Her husband had cooked. The meal is ready. Here is the food. The meal is ready. So of the three husbands, which one is the best husband? Started cooking? That's an hour. She has to wait an hour. He was cooking. It's not ready and she's hungry. He had cooked. The meal is ready. She can eat immediately. Why? Why? Because he had made the food earlier, before, before she came home. I think that man is the best husband. Now let's look at this sentence. So we have, she came home and her husband had cooked. Now here's the question, here's the question. Which action comes first? Coming home or cooking? Which action comes first? She came home, oh, that's the first verb. It must be the first, no, 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 no. She came home and he had cooked, that action comes first. It comes before another action. He had cooked when she came home or when she came home, comma, he had cooked. So the action of cooking was finished before she came home. That's how we use the past perfect. When there are two verbs in the past, one action is before the other. Now don't forget, you've got I had, contraction becomes I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, we'd. So that D, we have I apostrophe D. I apostrophe D. We apostrophe D. We apostrophe D. We'd. We'd met each other before when I went to Germany. Now, here's another question, which is difficult. Listen to this sentence. When I went to Germany, when I went to Germany, comma, I could speak German. When I went to Germany, I could speak German. <laughs> Why? Why could I speak German? I'll tell you, because I had learnt German before I went to Germany. So, when I went to Germany, comma, I could speak German. Why? Because I had learnt it before I went to Germany. That is the past perfect. When there are two actions in the past, 
One action is before the other. Now, one more thing. If we're going to use the past perfect, there must be two verbs. If we're going to use the past perfect, there has to be two verbs. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. We cannot say, I had eaten, full stop. It doesn't make any sense. I had eaten before I went to the party. Ah, here's another poem. I went to the party and there was no food. I went to the party and there was no food. Why was there no food? Why was there no food? There was no food because people had eaten all the food. When? Before I got to the party. So, when I got to the party, all the food had been eaten. All the food had been eaten. Had been passive eaten. Past participle. So that is the past participle. We need two verbs and one action is before the other. Now, your homework is to look on Google, put in past perfect, and there'll be hundreds and hundreds of activities for you. Yeah? Have a look and we'll discuss it later. Thank you very much indeed. Very short this week, very short this week, but very important tense. Now, don't forget, if you like this, press like and have a look at my website. Have a look at my website. Yeah? Okay, thank you very much. Bye!